everyone, I'm Kima. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about nails and classy nails. How to wear your nails to look classy and attractive. Let's get right into it. First up is to start with your skin, your hand. Your hand is such a delicate place. We use it so often, so you want to always keep it moisturized and that will improve the look of your nails and keep things classy. So you always want to have your moisturizer. You could try Kiehl's, you could try Mary Kay, you could try L'Occitane. They make really, really great quality hand cream that will moisturize your hand and keep them looking fresh and glowy. Okay, next thing you can do is to get a manicure done once per month preferably every two weeks. But if you can't, once per month will be great. And if you can't do once per month, that's fine um, to get it professionally done. That is, you can do them at home yourself too, but getting it professionally done, getting someone to remove the old cuticles, especially if you use your hand a lot, you cook a lot, your hand is in water a lot, you wanna take care of your nails. So get your cuticles done, get them shaped, get your nails shaped up, get them cut down nicely and what you can also do at a salon is help is ask the manicurist to help decide the shape and style for your hands. Like I have very long fingers and very long nail beds. So most shapes and style work for my hand, but if you have shorter fingers or if you have shorter nail beds, there are different ways to shape and style your nails that will really complement the shape of your hands and make you look so much more classy, so much more fabulous, and your nails will just tell a whole different story for you. So definitely try to get a professional salon treatment at least once per month if you can. If not, take your time and do it yourself at home, but definitely take care of your hands, take care of your fingers, because that will really enhance your confidence and make your nails look classy. Next up, you wanna always use quality nail polishes. Yes, I know the sometimes a dollar store has like a 99 cent nail polish from who knows what where. <laughs> and I'm not saying that they're terrible, but the quality of the finishing is gonna look completely different than if you really use quality nail polish. So you could try Essie, of course, OPI, Deborah Lipman, Zoya, which is vegan and cruelty free. I think some of the other brands do make different vegan cruelty free, li cruelty -free lines too. I don't know why my tongue is just twisted up. Okay, but um, you want to wear quality nail polishes because that will really give you a beautiful finish and make your manicure and your nails look so much more classier, so much more gorgeous, and you'll feel much more confident. Next thing to do is to stick with beautiful neutral colors. There are quite a few universal neutral colors out there that fit most skin tone, but make sure that you're kind of like wearing colors that matches your skin tone or just looks beautiful all around on you. White is a classic color. If you're lighter or darker, whatever it is, white looks good on everyone. I know some people are like, I'm too pale to wear white. Actually, no. White does look good on paler people, darker people. White is such a staple color and you can wear it all year round. Black is also a great staple color. Black looks good, I believe, universally across on pretty much everyone, even if you're darker skin tone. What you can do is to play around with getting like, if you wear like a dark nail polish and you feel it's too dark for your skin, is to add like a cover or a top coating, a cover, a top coating of a little bit of a glitter on it, like silvery glitter, light clear silvery glitter. You can ask your manicurist to do that for you. Play around with it so you can see how gorgeous it's gonna look and it will look on you. Next up, this might be, everyone might not agree, but the shorter your nails, the more classy they look. Um, I'm not saying your nails have to be this cut all the way down to the bed. Like for my nails, I have a little bit of growth. I can still go like maybe a little bit more on the growth of my nails to keep it really nice and classy. This color that I'm wearing also is like a burnt orange. We are in the fall, so this is like a burnt orange, which I really liked when I was at the nail shop. Um, I don't particularly like red anymore. I used to love red, especially for the holidays. But I find that red nail polish ages my hand and makes my hand look so much more older than, than it is. 
and that's probably just me there's some reds I can wear like if it's a tomato red like a bright orangey red those will look good but like a deep red is a complete no for me and knowing your skin tone how to match nail polishes to your skin tone for me I always go with the lighter undertones because my skin is dark I don't want nail polishes to blend in with my skin I need it to stand out but subtly stand out so Keep your nails at a short length, as short as you possibly can. And of course, play around with long nails. I've played around with long nails too. We're just going over what is deemed classy. And shorter nails are classier. Um, I love long nails. They're fun, they're gorgeous. I wear them sometimes, rarely though, because then I can't maneuver my phone, I can't do anything. <laughs> My friends, I admire their nails when they get them done and it's just so beautiful and gorgeous. But going the classy road, you always want to take your nails as short as possible and they will look beautiful. And finally, go with confidence. Go with confidence. <laughs> Wear your nails, get your manicure done, get a beautiful color that matches your skin tone, that complements you, that does what, when I say matches your skin tone, I mean compliment. I don't know where in my brain I'm like matches <laughs> but I mean compliment your skin tone so definitely definitely try to do that and let me know in the comments what your favorite color nail polish is uh, there's some beautiful polish colors out there it's just too much it's too much memory to remember the names but I love exploring gorgeous colors let me know your favorite color or maybe your favorite brand I do love Zoya I love that it's um they have a beautiful range of colors and I do believe they're vegan and cruelty free. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video <laughs> and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.